Hello and welcome back, finally, to Luxembourg's Lux Invicta. We are indeed back in the glorious world of Hearts of Iron 4, where the, uh, the Axis has truly taken over a ridiculous amount of the world. Uh, we are currently at war with the Allies of a sort, <laughs> led by the uh, brave men and women of New Zealand. The Allies mostly consist of Central American powers, and uh, to win this war, all we have to do is capitulate New Zealand at the moment. So we're going to focus on trying to get that done. Uh, it's not easy. Oh, we suddenly have a lot of convoys. I think the game is glitching a bit and it's given me more convoys than I really ought to have because it's saying I'm not using any for trade and supply practically. So let's see if what we can, we can uh, make the most of that little th issue. Where are, where are all my troops at the moment? I swear we have a bunch of troops around here somewhere. Are they here? No? They have... Um, forts, naval forts on every single coastal province and they've garrisoned every single naval province so they're not going to be an easy nut to crack not by any means where are, where are all my troops <laughs> ah here they are <coughs> they appear to be in roads for some odd reason alright let's send a bunch of these guys down here to Sydney oh those are already the ones that were assigned here now because for some reason it's given me a whole load of extra convoys it's going to let me uh, give that command <clears throat> so that's good. Uh, we should be focusing very heavily on uh, on convoy production right now, yes? Yes, entirely on convoy production. And we're building some naval dockyards. That's excellent news. So I'm trying a new uh, recording setup this episode. Uh, I hope it works well. Uh, if it does, it's going to make me putting out videos much more streamlined. That should be good. Make it much easier to get them to you faster. So the Mexicans deployed, uh, interestingly, they don't seem to have anyone just here. That's an interesting decision. Let's see if we can exploit that. Uh, send you down here. The you guys can stop. Oh no, they were holding them. That's fair enough. Keep doing that. While well, these guys push in here. As I said, we don't really need to take out the Mexicans because uh, as soon as we take out the um, New Zealander, New Zealandese? What is the term for New Zealanders? I know there's a couple of you that occasionally watch my videos from... Uh, New Zealand. Please do tell me what the uh, don't you know what the term for that kind of word is. Honorific? Not sure. <clears throat> so, right, right, right. We're working on trying to take out New Zealand. But the problem is, yes, we're uh, we're almost a thousand convoys in the hole, which is not good. Did I start researching marines? No, I think we're going to need marines to crack this particular nut. So let's get researching some marines. The game should run yeah, pretty well at the moment. That's fine. Okay, and then uh, after we've taken them out, I guess our next target would be China, maybe? We could launch our attacks from uh, from the Philippines here. Presumably the Chinese don't have any ships because uh, the Japanese won't kill them all. And of course we can launch from this border and up here a bit as well. Yeah, maybe an attack against China would be good. Obviously that would be good for our manpower. And there's quite a lot of resources down here in the south. I say quite a lot. There's some. There's some. Although I don't believe we're really in a particular uh, resource issue at the moment. So it's not too much of a big deal. I think I might uh, focus more heavily on uh, naval dockyard production. Because we really need more convoys. It's becoming absurd. This is the problem when you play... Uh, when you fight a big war on a continent that is not your own, um, you get... Actually, I shouldn't build here first, because we just freed up some slots. And you should always build in places that you actually own, rather than just occupy first. So let's, uh, let's focus on doing that here. Uh, where else do we actually own? Here, of course. Marvellous. Dum, da -dum, dum, dum. So I'm, uh, I'm looking for someone to do a... Um, Hearts of Iron 4 multiplayer game with uh, another YouTuber at the moment. What game do you think we should play? I'm look leaning heavily towards doing uh, a Great War mod one. I think that'd be really good fun. Uh, so let me know what countries you thought think we should play. The options for me basically are maybe we could just do a Central Powers one. So one of us plays Germany, one of us plays Austro-Hungary. Or maybe we could do like a one plays Germany, one plays France. Maybe that could be fun. I'm not sure. But yeah, let me know what you think. I'd be, uh, I'd be interested to get your feedback. Not feedback, input. Right. Um, yeah, I think we probably just shouldn't push much on this front, to be honest. If they're going to let me take land, you know how I feel about that. But other than that, 
we really should just try and let time go and build up more convoys. How many are we producing at the moment? We're producing two a day. <clears throat> That's not very good. Once we bang out a load more of these factories, that should be good. And our, uh, our industry just got improved by that research we did. No, that was construction, wasn't it? This artillery will help. Tasman. Tasman, looks like. C. We're just killing some American convoys. That's fine. Okay, there's the advanced artillery. Are there any more industry techs that we want? Not really. We're okay for synthetics and we're okay for resources. Um... What's going to help us navally invade? We don't have the highest level of naval invasion tech. <clears throat> Ooh, invasion defense. I have no idea what that is. Reduces it. I didn't know that that was a thing. Okay, yeah, we're going to get that. Uh, it's, ooh, it's only going to take 100 days. Wow. 178 days. That's not that long. Okay, we're definitely going to get that. Uh, that will, should make these naval invasions much more doable. Problem is because they've got, yeah, they've got a lot of people. The Waitangi Tribunal. That's interesting. I haven't seen these, uh, um, what do you call, uh, this focus tree really. I haven't played with any of the new people except Canada. I did a big playthrough with Canada. You can tell I've been playing EU4 recently because I keep hitting W to try and go back to the default view. <laughs> That's research, not default. How do these, I don't think I've really, I haven't really got into the, uh, the screenshots. Sorry, the screenshots. The shortcuts. Oh, hoy for yet. I should, really. I'm looking forward to the war with the Axis. Uh, I'm not sure how the best way to do it is. I'm pretty certain if they take Luxembourg, it's all over. We just lose. <laughs> so I'm a bit concerned about that. We should probably have maxed out anti-air in all of our areas to see if we can damage some of their uh, air game. Or maybe we should actually... I have to keep stop pressing W. Or maybe we should actually try and produce aircraft so at some point. Hmm. Not sure. I'm going to keep trying with these five down here. Uh, they are... they're not really inexperienced, are they? Let's just move them out and put them back in again. No, they're not really inexperienced, so it's not... But they're not super experienced, so it's no huge loss if these guys die over and over attempting to uh, to attack in. This, I believe, is the only Plains province around. Yeah, let's, let's just give that a go. See if that gets anywhere. I don't really suspect that it will. And obviously, they'd be uh, trying to pull something off like that. They did land. I think it's probably a good idea just to keep harassing these guys. Yeah, the 80% negative from that is really quite significant. National Spain wants to send more volunteers, but of course... Can't turn that down. Ooh, what we could also do is build some... Uh, once we've got enough convoys, that is. We could build some... Um, ships. Large surface ships. To give us a uh, naval, naval bombardment benefit. Oh, that's why I hadn't researched uh, marines yet. That was going to give us a bonus. Oh, well, we can use that to give us a bonus on the second one. Now, uh, yeah. Some extra naval dockyards. And some bonuses might help. Uh, I don't think any of these really help much. Because we're not really going to be doing much much uh, actual big shipbuilding, but naval effort might help. Ooh, we might actually win this one. Now you notice I'm attacking not a port. My idea is if we can actually land here, then I might just try and hold the province while I build a port. Ooh, we actually landed! And this is a... Um, this is a, a victory point which would have supply that is not well defended. <gasps> well, that was just a little kind of, you know last ditch attempt, might as well give it a go, kind of thing. It looks like we might actually take Dundin. I don't know what the, uh, how you pronounce that one. I'm, I'm attacking against these people who are trying to attack me, just to make it impossible for them to attack me. Ah, they're reinforcing though. Come on, guys. Yeah, and so what I should have start, started doing instantly is uh, build me a port just there. As fast as possible. How long is that going to take? Right, yeah, it can't progress while there's an ongoing battle for this province, which is annoying. You can stay here. Defend. So the fact that he's defending means that those three uh, aren't the ones that are defending. Come on, come on, take the province. Problem is, yeah, we've no supply, so very shortly these guys are going to totally run out of organisation. Yes, we took it. 
We took it, we took it, we took it, we took it. Okay. Uh, you can retreat from there. We need the uh, the port is in fact needed here. Along with the land fort. Right, so now we've got some supply. One. <laughs> One supply. It's not the best. These guys, I'm going to put them in a new theatre. And I'm going to give them top priority. So that they get all of the reinforcements they could possibly need. Ideally, we want to hold two provinces, not just one. So I might try and push here. Or maybe back down here. Well, no, because I'd rather not hold the uh, Plains province. <coughs> Oof. It's very close. No, it looks like they're going to kill us, unfortunately. Where did my other division go? There were five. Maybe one of them already died. So here's these lot arriving down there. What I might also do is... Uh, Ten of them. I could have them navally invade from here. Now that they're distracted down there. Have them go and try and take Auckland. Let's do it. Is it reserved enough convoys? Uh, yes, I think it has. I think it takes precedence over convoys. But now we've got them heavily deployed down here. This could be the perfect time to send in some big armoured divisions. It's going to take a month, though. Can you hold for a month down here? Probably not, unfortunately. Hmm. I'm annoyed that he still doesn't have defensive doctrine. Not that, that would really help too much here. Uh, modify government. Um, not sure, really. I could get rid of this guy in place of... No one, really. Silent workhorse is a bit late at this point. I guess the chief of the navy. Naval speeds just get our uh, get our subs moving around a little bit faster when I want to redeploy them. They're all dead, unfortunately. Let's half the size of the people in this invasion. Seventeen days. Maybe I can get that get them up there before these guys get have time to redeploy. That would be ideal. We held out for quite a while with you know not very many divisions. That was sterling work. They gave their lives bravely. But yes, that was a disaster. <laughs> An indisputable, total disaster of a landing. <laughs> I expected them to not be able to land at all, and hence it wasn't going to be a problem. Wait, a sign. There you go. They're just going to hold that river. I don't need to make South Africa capitulate in this war. At least uh, I don't at the moment, and hopefully that won't change. So yes, they're redeploying up their, back up to their original positions, but hopefully there'll be less up here, and they won't have as much... Um, entrenchment as they normally would with a bit of luck ah, it's only five divisions though uh, they are armor divisions this time though so they're quite a bit stronger and if they could take a city that would be grand let's see let's see and now the moment they've set off let's plan another one. Oh yes you can only plan a single naval invasion from a given port I'll have to wait for them to actually arrive before I can set up the next one and I'm almost certain about this, but let's just see if submarines can uh, provide naval bombardment. I'm pretty sure that they can't, but it's uh, it's worth checking. <laughs> They're looking a bit, a bit big, those submarines. Someone said there's a mod that uh, that fixes the ridiculous size of boats, but I don't I don't really mind it. It's quite nice seeing them when you're zoomed out. The shadows look a bit odd though, don't they? Who are these for? Oh, that's the, <laughs> the subs, of course. Come on, guys. Let's see if we can... Ooh, some of them are taking the long way around. That's an interesting strategy. I mean, some of them are going to arrive after the others. Four of them are going for the city. Hmm, not sure about that. No one lost in that little bombing raid there. Yeah, we're not going to be able to take the city, fortunately. Which means the whole thing is a bust. Call it off, lads. Call it off. Come back. Um, what could we do? What could we do? We should really just... I should really just wait for convoys, shouldn't I? If I was being sensible, I would just wait until we had enough convoys. So let's do that. Let's, uh... Oh, well, we're getting there now. We're only 200 off. We're powering them out now. Three a day, and the number should be increasing quite rapidly. A bunch of these, as you can see, are just coming in. <clears throat> 
the uh, Japanese have managed to hold their, their footing here in Mancuco, which I'm surprised about. Sorry, Manchuco. Mancuco is this bit, isn't it? Yes. Which I'm surprised about. I mean, the uh, Chinese have 150 divisions floating around. Hmm. Free dockyards. More convoys for absolute days, please. There we go. Very nice. Short on stuff again. Probably something that I'm deciding not to trade. Yeah, chromium. Ooh, we desperately need more chromium. I was wrong about the extraction technologies. I am going to get those at some point because we need more chromium urgently. The reason I'm not trading for it... Well, maybe I could trade for it from uh, Germany. All right, let's see. Need of a trade and supply, 1,400. Cancel this trade. Still 1,400. Okay, so we can trade chromium from Germany without using convoys. So let's do so. Because chromium is essential for the production of our tanks, as I recall. Yes, there you go. All our heavy tanks need need chromium. And we would like as many heavy tanks as possible. Got 4,000 in the bank right now. So U13 can all make the glorious switch to armoured divisions. Yeah, very nice. They'll need to go into a new... Um, what do you call it? New army, because they're going to have to do some training. In fact, I'm going to put all these guys into a new army and let them train uh, until they're trained. I think that's worth it. We've got the tanks now to uh, make that kind of investment. I'm also going to take, let's say, half of you guys. Put you in a new army. Make you uh, fall back. Switch you over to armor divisions and have them train too. I would basically like to switch everyone to armor divisions in the uh, not too distant future. We are banging out convoys pretty quick. Japan, you, I know you've got some, some convoys squirreled away for me. No? About Germany, what do you think? End lease Germany? You know you want to. One. Ugh. Come on, guys. I'm your faithful ally. Well, I got two convoys out of the deal. <laughs> not the best ever. So what resources do you have, New Zealand? You've got a little bit of everything. So they've got of, of lots of the important stuff. Tungsten for artillery, steel for infantry. Good, so we've done naval effort. I guess I should focus on construction engineering. Does that help with... Uh, doesn't actually help with factory production. So maybe technology sharing. Or naval production for convoy production. For con trade convoys, most 20%. Let's go with technology sharing just for now. And... Uh, have a look at what that's going to give us. Not much here. How about... No, no one else has got marines yet. No one else really has anything that I want, actually. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't do that, then. Yeah, no one else seems to have the relevant ones. Although I would actually... Maybe I should get signal companies and uh, logistics companies going. What do my templates look like? Remind me. Yeah, they have two free slots. I think we could get recon companies in everything. Have we got enough supply for that? We've got 2,000. So let's see, if I were to put a recon company into each one of these, that would cost me... Oh yeah, we've got plenty. Let's do that. So when we're upgrading to, to uh, armor divisions, we're also upgrading to having a uh, recon. Recon is helpful. Um, it's not 45 yet. But yeah, maybe supply would be good for, for landings. Hmm. Does it? It's just supply usage, yes. It's not an actual increase in the grace period. So that's less useful. Although we're going to want to have a lot of troops stationed in Luxembourg when this war breaks out. And we're not going to have very much supply. Oh, actually, 165 supply just here. Maybe we will have plenty of supply. Yeah, we will. Okay, so let's not do that. Let's not do that. Change my mind immediately. Um, rocket artillery. Maybe rocket artillery would be good. Hmm. What we could do is research anti-air. Because these ones, I think, improve um, the anti-air attack of AA guns on the ground. I'm not sure about that. But I think they do. Hmm, what else could we research? Military police, yeah, we're doing lots of military policing and we're going to in the future. Let's get some military police going. Japan's in the Axis, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, of course they are. So, we're going to have to fight Japan when we fight Germany. 
Right. Uh, convoy situation. Much, much as it has been. <laughs> so these guys are all training up. That's excellent. Their experience just, uh, just dropped. Oh, sorry, that was, that was their, um, dig in, not their experience. Never mind. Uh, what else could we do with, wow, <laughs> one day. Well, you know, why not? <laughs> um, I am going to research these, I think, just because I might want to um, check out what will happen if I turn all my troops into mountaineers. Just see if that gives a bonus. I, I've tried that out a couple of times recently. It seems to work quite well. Kind of all, all mountaineer strats, so give that another go. We're almost into repairing infrastructure. Can't have that. Just bump all the infrastructure down to the bottom. Looks like I have already done so. Good. There are very many civilian factories. Maybe I should build some more. Maybe I should focus on uh, forts all the way around here. I, I am looking forward to the War with the Axis. That's one of the reasons I really want to wrap this one up, because I want to start gearing up for a huge war with the Axis. We've got a bunch of... There's got a bunch of people building up. We need more towed artillery, though. Okay. Let's get some more towed artillery production going. Need more towed artillery. Don't need any more motorized right now. So what I'm going to do is just switch straight onto uh, artillery like that. So we don't have that many military factories. Let's get some more military factories queued up once uh, some of these repairs finish. Let's just power through some repairs. That should be fine. That's something I want to know. If you leave faction research, does this go up? So 26. If I cancel that. 77. Yes. And if I re-enter it, does that work? 26. Yes. Ah, well done, Paradox. I'm surprised. <laughs> it's usually one of the kind of things they might overlook. Okay, fantastic. Well, I think this went pretty well. Uh, next time, we'll hopefully be doing an invasion of New Zealand. We're almost there. But until then, thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you next time. Bye.